In this video, I'm going to show you the karaoke setup using your monocaster light and being connected to a bigger speaker. And for that, we will be using an amplifier to connect the big speakers. And for testing, I will be using a condenser microphone as well as a dynamic microphone. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have uh, quite a few cords on here or cables. It doesn't mean that you need to have all of them for you to get set up for your karaoke, uh, maybe karaoke party at your home. So I have some options on here that if you do not have this cord, then you can use the other cord. Let's say, for example, this one here. So this is the 6.35 mm to XLR cable. Normally, the dynamic microphone, they use this kind of, of uh, of cable so what they do is they connect this one on here and then the other end they normally connect it to here but as you notice with this monocaster uh, light the port for the microphone is 3.5 mm so it will not fit on there so what you do is you will need this adapter this adapter is 6.35 mm female to uh, 3.5 mm male so what you do is you connect it like that and then you connect it to wherever, whichever port of the microphone on here. But again, if for example, you do not have this one, then the other option is this one. So I just hope you have an extra one of these if you are using a condenser microphone. Normally, this XLR cable to 3.5 mm comes when you purchase a condenser microphone. So let's say for example, you have an extra one. So again, if you don't have this one, then you can use this one, the XLR, to 3.5 mm so let's uh, let's just use this one so we don't need to use the adapter over there okay so let's connect this one to this uh, dynamic microphone okay and the other end let's just pick one on here maybe let's connect to mic number two and then our condenser microphone of course let's uh, use uh, another one of that so same thing XLR to 3.5 mm so let's connect the other one here the mic one so again mic one is connected to the uh, condenser microphone okay there you go okay and this one here you do not need to have both of them if you have one of them then you should be set okay so as you can see this one here is like the older video we will not be using the yellow one for the video we will only be using this rca2 uh, TRRS 3.5 mm so again uh, you can use this one or this one so this one is the RCA to uh, 3.5 mm TRS so again you can use this one or this one you don't need to have both of them okay so let's connect right away this one okay so what we do is we will connect one end the 3.5 mm so this that one there we will connect it to here from the uh, monocaster light the one that says output and then the other end we will connect to the amplifier receiver okay so if you have something like this uh, there are options on here as to where you're going to connect this uh, other end so if you are going to connect it for example to phono then make sure to set also the other side of this to phono or CD, then it has to be set to CD. I'll show you later. Let's say, for example, let's just connect it to the one that says CD. So just simply red to red and white to white. Okay, something like that. And uh, by the way, this amplifier is connected to a two uh, bigger speaker me that one over there and this one over here so as you can see i have two this one is for the other one and this one is for the other one so left and right speaker so those two speakers behind me and now i will be using a background music let's say for karaoke song because that's the setup i'll be showing you okay so i will be using one of these so this is the trrs uh, three with three lines on both ends this uh, cord normally comes if you buy a monocaster light so what i will do i will connect one end of these to the one that says music input and the other end i will connect to my source of the karaoke song i'll be using a youtube song so from this iPad, I'm just going to connect the other end to the headphone port of this iPad. If you're using a tablet 
Android phone or, or maybe a laptop, uh, just connect the other end to the headphone port of that other device as a source of your karaoke song. So this one, the headphone port is over there, so I'm just gonna connect it there. There you go. Okay, let me just make sure everything are plugged in properly. Okay, and now I am going to turn on this uh, receiver amplifier. Okay, there you go. So uh, as you recall, we connected from the output port of this uh, monocaster light to the CD port or the CD uh, port of this uh, amplifier or receiver. So make sure it is set to CD. If you connected it to the one that says video, then you have to make sure it's set to video or else it will not work. But if you are using a speaker that there's only RCA uh, port on there that says aux in, that's where you should be connecting the two uh, RCA cord, the red and white. Okay, so again, in this case, because we connected it at the back under CD, then we will have to make sure we select CD also over here. And we can now turn on this monocaster light. So just hold two to three seconds and it should turn on. Okay, and let's now also turn on this uh, uh, karaoke song. So as I mentioned earlier, I am going to be using the karaoke song from from uh, uh, YouTube. Okay, now let's uh, test them out. Okay, so from here, as you notice, it's still at zero volume from this amplifier. Just to give you a heads up, the background music volume you can control from this device and also from the monocaster light from here, the one that says music. And overall, the volume of the microphone, either you use a condenser microphone or dynamic microphone, you can control them from here, from this amplifier. And from here, just to give you a heads up that from the monocaster light, if the volume of the monitor is at zero, you will not hear anything. Sound check, testing one, two. So the monitor volume here is connected to your amplifier. So make sure this one is up to have volume on here. So, okay, so let me, even if the volume here is up from the amplifier, sound check, testing one, two, there is nothing. So you cannot hear anything. You need to turn the monitor volume up. Sound check, testing one, two, there you go. So I'm sure you can hear it now. Sound check, testing one, two sound check okay and if we are going to uh, test also the condenser microphone sound check testing one two one two three four so as you notice the condenser microphone is really sensitive and more louder than uh, by using the uh, dynamic microphone so as you can see the microphone is not really close to my mouth and you can hear that uh, right away okay it, uh, if you're going to compare it with the dynamic microphone, you really have to move it closer to your mouth for you to be able to hear it. So in this case, the echo is still at zero. That's why there is no effect to your voice. Okay, and now let's uh, give it a try. Let's put some echo to this uh, uh, microphone. Okay, sound check, testing one, two, one, two, three, four. There you go, so I hope you can hear now the effect. And this might fit back because uh, the, the speaker is just so close uh, behind me, but uh, we'll uh, give it a try. Okay, sound check, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four, sound. And let's uh, put some more echo. Sound check, testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. So there you go. That is now the audio if you are using the, uh, this uh, dynamic uh, microphone. Sound check, testing one, two. So now I am using the uh, dynamic, this is the condenser microphone I am using. And as you notice, it's not even so close to my mouth and you could uh, hear that more clearly. That is because the condenser microphone for me is more powerful than the uh, dynamic microphone. Sound check, testing one, two. There you go, sound check. Okay, and uh, as to my settings on here, it's up to you to, uh, to play around whatever or whichever uh, preferred audio vocals to your vocals. Let's say, for example, if you want more bass, then turn this, uh, the low, turn the low to the right. Maybe let's just put uh, bass on it, maybe at one o'clock sound check. 
and the mid, it's up to you to play around. Mid, low is like that. And then if you want it to more, let's say at three o'clock, then it's like that. And for the high, high is more of a treble. So if you want more of a treble, turn it to the right. But if you do not want lots of treble, then turn it to the left. Sound check. Testing, one, two, one, two, three, four. Sound, testing. Okay, and the record volume knob here. If you are doing a live streaming, then that this has to be uh, turned up all the time. But if you are doing a karaoke party at your home, uh, this one doesn't matter if it's low or high because you're not recording it anyway and you're not doing a live streaming. So it doesn't matter if this is at zero or at the max or high. And now let's give it a try playing with this uh, with this uh, background music or karaoke song. Okay, let's try playing this one now. Okay, so as you notice, you could hardly hear it. Okay, so what we will do is we are going to increase the volume from here, from the monocaster like the one that says music, and then, and then the volume up from this uh, iPad. Okay, so let's check first the volume here where we're at. Okay, so it's not yet at the max, let's uh, play it. Okay, let's uh, turn it up some more, and then you can turn it up from here some more as well. There you go, so something like that. Okay, so let's, uh, let's uh, give it a little sample, singing, uh, let's say singing, uh, like you're doing a karaoke uh, party at your house. Okay, let's pause it for a bit and this time let's try using the dynamic microphone. So again, as I mentioned earlier, since the dynamic microphone is not as loud as the condenser microphone, just make sure it is uh, more closer to your mouth. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to increase the volume from here, from the microphone of this monocaster light. Uh, for your voice uh, to be more louder if you are using it one at a time, for example. Okay, sound check, and if you want it more louder, then turn this one to the right. Sound check. Okay, so let's play this one again. the uh, audio if you are going to use uh, the dynamic microphone and the uh, condenser microphone. So in my opinion, if in case you are using both, maybe you're using both of them at the same time, the dynamic microphone and the condenser microphone, what I suggest is that maybe just ask the other one, whoever is using the uh, the uh, dynamic microphone to make sure uh, to move the uh, the uh, let's say the microphone closer to your mouth, while the other one who is using the condenser microphones to not move it so close to their mouth, otherwise uh, uh, her vocal or the vocals or whoever is using that uh, condenser microphone will be more louder than whoever is using the uh, dynamic microphone. 
Okay, and now let's uh, let me show you also using the other cord that I showed you earlier to connect from the monocaster light to this amplifier. Okay, so uh, from here, what I will do is I am going to uh, remove this uh, cord here that we connected and we will replace it with this one if uh, this would work. So what I will do, I will connect this uh, one here, the TRRS, to the output and then the RCA, the red and white, I will replace it with this and we'll see if it will work. Okay, so let's remove this one. And then let's uh, connect this one here, the one that says output, and then the, the red and white to here. So same, we'll, we'll just connect it to the same port. Okay, and let's test this. So as you can see, it does work as well. So same thing, same as earlier, it does work. And if we're going to play, the uh, background music. Okay, so it does play as well, as you notice. Soundtrack testing one, two. So as you notice, it does uh, work as well if you have uh, this kind of cord or uh, cable. Okay, let's pause it now. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of videos, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.